Hello, so let's discuss a new inclusion to physics 9702-2022 syllabus and the topic is astronomy and cosmology. Basically this topic is split up into three parts, standard candles, stellar radii and Hubble's law. The sections of communication and electronics have been removed from A-level physics and these three basically one chapter which consists of three sections are being added in this video uh, we are going to discuss standard candles uh, which deals with the luminosity it says to apply the formula of luminosity is l over 4 pi d square understand that objects that an object of known luminosity is called a standard candle we need to see this formula and term luminosity and we also need to know that the use of standard candle to determine the distances to the galaxies let's start let's start with luminosity first the definition says that a luminosity of a star is defined as the total radiant energy emitted per unit time. Luminosity is same as power and the unit of luminosity is also of same as power. <coughs> but do bear in mind important things that the, it is the total radiant energy. When we are considering stars, we do not use the term power. Instead, we use the term luminosity. So the formula for luminosity is the energy over time. Unit is watt or joules per second. Now let's move on to the definition of standard candle. An, astron an astronom astronomical object of non-luminosity is called a standard candle. Standard candles are of two types a suffied variable star and type 1a supernova which have been found yet now let's move on <coughs> to the terminology of light year light year is basically a distance which is traveled by light in vacuum for a distance of one year so basically one light year would be the speed of light in vacuum multiplied by one year in seconds the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 and 1 year in second is 365 days, 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes and 60 seconds. So 9.5 into 10 to the power 15 meter is 1 light year. The distances of galaxies and stars are too far away so we will use the terminologies of light year so that a convenient form convenient symbol is being used so if you are asked to answer in terms of light year you just divide your meters by 9.5 into 10 to the power 15 next we will start with radiant flux intensity first comes the definition the radiant power passing normally through a surface per unit area is called radiant flux intensity we have already seen the term intensity in waves that is power divided by area so instead of power you we are using the term luminosity for stars symbol used for radiant flux intensity would be f the formula for radiant flux intensity would be the power of star divided by the surface area of sphere the power of star is the power of the star luminosity and the surface area of the sphere would be 4 pi d squared, the distance from the center of the star. The diagram shows the star and the orbital planet, let's suppose, is at this point. So this is the distance d from the center of the star and the star's luminosity is, let's suppose, l. So the radiant flux intensity would be L over 4 pi d squared. Let's see the dependence of the radiant flux intensity on the <coughs> power and on the distance. 
Number one is that the radius radiant flux intensity is directly proportional to the power of the star and its graph would be a straight line of flux intensity versus the power. Next is that the flux intensity is inversely proportional to the distance square. The graph of flux against density uh, distance would be this shape and flux against 1 over distance square would be a straight line. Let's see a question that says that the radius of the sun is 6.96 .96 into 10 to the power 8 meters and the, its luminosity its luminosity is 3.83 into 10 raised to the power 26 watt. The orbital radius of the earth is 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 meters. Calculate the radiant flux intensity at the surface of the sun and at the position of the earth. Let's visualize the situation. That's our sun and that's our earth. We are given with the orbital radius from the center of the earth to the center of the sun and we are given the radius of the sun. We just need to plug in the values for the radius we are given with the luminosity and find the flux intensity at the surface of the sun and at the position of the earth. So first thing first, the surface of the sun. Applying the formula Fs is equal to L over 4 pi d square. L is 3.83 into 10 to power 28. 4 pi and the d, the distance is the radius of the sun which is given as 6.96 into 10 raised to the power 8. So this becomes 6.29 into 10 to the power 7 watt per meter square. Next, let's find the flux intensity at the earth. So for this, the luminosity will remain the same because the star, only star is sun. So the luminosity of sun would be used which is 3.83 to 10 to the power 28 and the distance would this time be the orbital distance radius which is given as 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 11. Let's plug in the value. So this would give us 1.35 into 10 raised to the power 3 watts per meter square. While solving these questions, do bear in mind that we have to take the distance from the center of the star, whatever the star is. In this case, it was sun, so the center of the star to the center of the earth. And in the question, it said that it is the orbital radius. So orbital radius means that the earth is orbiting around the sun. So the orbital radius is from the center of the earth to the center of the sun. So you must realize the terminologies and apply them appropriately. Let's see another question. It says that the radiant flux intensity measured at the earth from Cepheid variable star is Andromeda is 1.5 into 10 to the power negative 16. So basically this is as a star now. The luminosity of the star is 1 into 10 to the power 30 watts. Calculate the distance of the star. So in this question you are given with all the values you just have to find the distance. In this question we just need to rearrange the D and solve it after plugging in all the essential values. Luminosity is 1 into 10 to the power 30. 4 pi f the intensity is 1.4 into 10 to the power negative 16 and d square it was so square root so this becomes the value is 238 238 into 10 to the power 20 meters if it asks you in light years you can write it as 2.4 million light years so this is our answer so that's it for this lecture and do like and subscribe my channel for more information and related videos thank you